But first, tonight at 8.30, two women, a mother and daughter, accused of killing their grandmother, remain in jail. It's a gruesome story, one our Katie Barlow heard in court today. She's in Landover with the details. This house behind me on Hill Road in Hyattsville, Maryland, is where 44-year-old Candace Craig is accused of murdering her mother and then recruiting her daughter, Celia Hardy, to help her dismember the body and burn it. Candace Craig is facing first-degree murder charges while her daughter is facing charges for being an accessory after the fact. Today, a judge in Prince George's County said both women must remain behind bars for now. They're a threat to the safety of the community. So just the thought of people who are in your lineage, people who are supposed to be carrying on your legacy, uh, being a part of your demise is almost unbelievable. The assistant state's attorney said that this is one of the worst murders she has seen during her time in office. Police say they were called for a welfare check by a witness who speaks regularly to 71-year-old Margaret Craig and said they hadn't heard from her in days. Police searched the house and say they found human remains on trash bags, along with blood splatter in the basement and more human remains on a chainsaw. Prosecutors say the two women dismembered the body, then tried to burn it on a grill behind the house. I suppose something was kind of suspicious because Memorial Day, they had their grill further down from the house, from the, from the house. Usually have their barbecues close to the house. That kind of kind of got suspicious. I see nobody at the grill, nobody bringing anything out to the grill. So I didn't pay much more attention yeah, had, to it. They had one of those um, a barrel type grills. Yes. And they had uh, the, the charcoal sitting beside it. And then they had like a little table with, it, with the umbrellas. The grandmother is still technically a missing persons case. The DNA that was collected here at the crime scene is being analyzed as we speak. And the two women are set for their next court date in July in Prince George's County. Back to you guys.